Hey, so I wanted to do this video and kind of show you a couple more screens that we can do uh, on Bloomberg. Uh, we've been through a lot of kind of the basic equity screens, but today I wanted to show you um, another one called ERM. So how we would do that, we'd start out like we've done the other ones, start out with DE. Um, we're going to do John Deere today, so we'll do DE equity, and then ERN, um, and it shows you the earnings history. So this will do... Uh, what was reported quarter by quarter, and then also has the estimate estimates from um, all those sell side analysts that we showed you earlier. So this is the estimate value from the sell side. Um, the difference here, I believe, is just some um, some uh, extra report reporting um, intricacies. They should be relatively close as you go down, um, but these should be kind of taking the extra amounts out so it can be compared to the estimates, if that makes sense. Um, you can see that John Deere, for instance, has beat it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, about 12 or 13 times in a row um, consistently has beat earnings from the estimates. So I don't really know what to take from that. Um, but then it also gives you kind of the forward-looking estimates for EPS. If you go up here, uh, under the measure, we can click and you can do sales, you can do a few other things, um, and it will show you uh, kind of what the company has reported and then also what the uh, analysts have estimate, estimated. I like to look at these mostly on the going forward basis, what the analysts think are going to be estimated uh, going forward, and then um, also kind of see how they've done in the past. Have they outperformed the market? Have they outperformed? What is being expected of them uh, going forward, too? Um, so we looked at that one. We looked at ERN. Uh, the next one I'll look at is CACS, which is for corporate, for corporate actions. Uh, this is going to show you um, all the big time actions that the corporation has done, whether this is a merger and acquisition, whether this is uh, kind of your regular dividends, um, an IPO, different things like that. Not much has happened for John Deere in the last year. A lot of dividend payments. Um, maybe you could click on check the mergers and acquisitions to see what's happened in the last year. Uh, you can see they bought Precision plant, Planting um, in November. If you click on this, it'll give you kind of some more detail. Uh, it looks like they bought it from Monsanto in November, and it's currently pending, so uh, not much information, but this will come out. Um, kind of the information on uh, how much they paid for it and, and et cetera. Uh, and then also a timeline that's going on when when things have happened, what's going on, and when it should close uh, when these things when these things occur. Um, another thing I will typically look at is also GPM. GPM is something you can use to compare different securities. Uh, I will use this if I'm kind of comparing two securities I want to see which one performed better in the last year. So um, two similar securities. Let's look at John Deere and also Caterpillar, uh, two really big um, manufacturing and farming securities. Um, you can see, and I think another way this helps you is you can sh it'll show you um, if they're both going down at the same time, maybe it's something that's not company related, but more of a macro trend. Uh, so this is Cat, this is John Deere. And it will start both of them at 100. So it will start them both at the beginning of the year, like the bottom both on that date. Um, instead of sometimes, you know, the different prices will kind of skew it. So this is probably a kind of, I think this is when commodities started to really struggle. So you can see them both going in that direction. Uh, you click on this arrow. Maybe you want to add SPX. This is going to be the full S&P 500 index, which was fairly fairly flat this year um, compared to the other two. So uh, this can help you. So as I said, it starts at 100. That means it's normalized. If you want it to be kind of just your regular prices, you have this multiplier button, I believe. And it will, it just, to me, it looks messy. Um, it will go with different, uh, it'll show you different um, kind of prices, where the prices are, and it it's not necessarily that you bought it on the same day, if that makes sense. Um, so those are some, some good screens to look at. So we've looked at 
kind of the earnings tables, uh, also your corporate actions, and then lastly, um, kind of to compare different stocks, use GPM. Uh, honestly, that's about most of the screens that I will use uh, kind of on uh, when I'm just looking at a stock. Sometimes there'll be special circumstances. I'll look at different things, but I think we've gone through about 20 different screens tonight, and uh, those are going to be kind of the big ones that I'll look at. So uh, thanks for watching kind of on the equity screens. I'll get into some more uh, detail on the different things that I'll use kind of as a general practice for Bloomberg. Um, some more things that it can do, which are pretty cool. So stay with me, but thanks.